Today, I'm going to show you how we actually find qualified leads on Apollo.io. Because if you've ever used Apollo.io before or any lead scraping slash searching tool, you know as well as I do that sometimes when you use the filters to find the leads that you're looking for, a ton of them are still going to be unqualified. The biggest downside to that is accidentally reaching out to those unqualified people if you're exporting a lead list or having to spend time clicking through, skimming through tons of leads before you can actually find the lead that you were looking to reach out to. First and foremost, do I actually recommend Apollo.io? Yes, but only because I haven't found another tool or software that has all the features that I need at the price that I need it at. So if you know another tool that you think is better, please by all means comment it down below. I want to see it, I want to try it as well. But all in all, yes, I do recommend Apollo.io. Okay, let's get started. For this example, we're going to be looking for medical billing companies. We're going to want their estimated revenue to be around $200,000 a year to $1 million a year. And the people that we're going to be looking for in these medical billing companies are going to be CEOs, founders, and owners. Now, here's the key when it comes to finding the most qualified lead on really any lead scraping or lead searching service is you want to first focus on who you really want and then afterwards you want to focus on who you don't want. So now we're going to go over to my computer and I'm going to show you exactly how this is done. Okay, so now we've switched over to my computer and now we're going to look for medical billing companies on Apollo.io. So the first thing that I always do is I always put down the job titles. So we're looking for CEOs, we're looking for founders, and we're looking for owners. Now, depending on what kind of agency you are, what kind of business in general you are, if you're a marketing agency, for example, you may wanna put down the CMO, office manager, someone else that you think would be more available to speak to. But if you are trying to reach out to companies that have a revenue of around 200,000 to a million dollars a year, then you probably wanna be reaching up to the top, the CEOs, the founders, the owners. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna click on the location and of course set the location. For this example, I'm just gonna use the United States, but you can go by city state however you want to go about it next thing that i do is i set the number of employees and so yes i could use the revenue filter right here but odds are with any lead scraping lead searching tool the revenue part is not going to be accurate at all and the reason for that is because who will know how would they know how would these softwares know and so what i do is i just kind of estimate based off of what kind of company they are how many people they would have in their business to be able to generate that amount of revenue. So if a medical billing company is perhaps 100% digital and it's kind of run by one person, then maybe it could also potentially hit $200,000 a year, right, in annual revenue. But I don't wanna assume, so just to be a little bit on the safe side, I'm gonna put down three here and I'm gonna make the max range around, I don't know, 60. So 60, three to 60. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to not buying intent. You can set the buying intent if you'd like, but I'm going to set the likely to engage and the verified email status. Then I'm going to go over to the industry and keywords. So the first thing you always want to do is you want to check if there's even an industry name for the kind of niche that you're looking for or the leads that you're looking for. If it's not there, then the next thing to do is to go over to include keywords. So we want to first focus on the lead that we actually want, which is medical billing companies. And so the first thing I'm going to type in is medical billing okay and I'm gonna click on the total from there I'm gonna go over to the keywords and I'm gonna check to see if I can find any more keywords that are related to the niche that I'm looking for so for example we have revenue cycle management so if we want we can just add revenue cycle management but this could also be any business it might not be medical so what I might do instead is I might say patient revenue cycle management see how many new leads pop up here okay pretty much none I want to add in Medicare billing insurance verification check the next page healthcare collections health billing dental billing mental health billing medical collections, medical billing, softwares, therapy billing. And what you can do at this point is if you're having trouble finding some keywords to use, you can just simply use ChatGPT to find the keywords that you're looking for. And so I have some here, so I'm just gonna take some of them. Insurance claim processing, let's see. Nice, added one. Healthcare reimbursement, let's try that. CBT code, let's try that. Okay, so as we can see, there are only 316 leads. And if you wanted more volume, you could just go the route of typing in billing and typing in collections. Billing 
collections. So at this point, we can just scroll through and quickly check if any of the leads have nothing to do with medical billing. So these guys clearly do medical billing, which is great. I usually like to start at the end just to see what I can find. Software development, accounting, bookkeeping, uh, medical billing, great, uh, real surgery, dental. Uh, what we might also find is some other businesses that are similar to ours. So for example, if you are a marketing agency, then maybe you don't want to accidentally reach out to any other marketing agencies. So you want to make sure that the industry is not any of marketing and advertising. If you're going for any medical billing companies, you also want to make sure that none of them have to do with the government. Maybe you don't want any nonprofits. Maybe you don't want any civics and social organizations. And maybe you don't want any philanthropy. Okay, cool. And now we can continue our search into billing. Another keyword that we might want to exclude as well, you might want to exclude practice. Now, it might take out a lot of leads from this list, as you can see, but you can pretty much guarantee that none of these companies will accidentally be clinics or any medical practices. But if we get rid of the word practice, then of course you have a lot more leads. And so if you wanted to find a different word to exclude, you can just take your time going through each page and just taking a look at every lead, just really, really quickly scanning to see if um, they are a medical practice or not. Or you can go over here and maybe you can expand the company name. Something that I quickly noticed after just taking a quick look around is some of these companies are not only medical billing companies some of them do strategy and they're consultants and i get it sometimes medical billing is a lot of consulting with medical practices and hospitals etc but you probably don't want anybody that does strategy so if you do if you don't that would be up to your own discretion if you are doing this on your own but i only want medical billing companies so i'm going to get rid of the word strategy and i'm also going to get rid of the word practice because I don't want any medical billing practices. Now, yes, there is a risk in using the word practice and excluding that because a lot of the medical billing companies might use medical practice as one of their keywords. But, you know, for me, I only want medical billing companies. I don't want to accidentally email or I don't want to accidentally send a connection to any medical practices. And because I don't want that risk at all, I might exclude the keyword. Now, if you're okay with a little bit of risk, then take out the word practice and you will have, for example, 200 more leads. Okay let's do another example let's say for example you are looking for crypto companies or web 3.0 companies that are currently doing fintech and so as you can see here i already have the basics laid out of what i really want and then i'm going to go over to the number of employees now because web 3.0 companies a lot of them are digital and a lot of them they have funding they don't have funding you kind of want to look at the smaller side and so if i were to go a custom range i would probably go around like three to forty as uh three to forty around that block and then i'm going to go over to industry and keywords what i I might want to say in the industry itself is I might want to say financial services. I might want to click on um, is not any of advertising because they just might pop up. I don't want any of the leads to come up to be public relations. I don't want any of the leads to have to do with government, nonprofits, civic social organizations, or anything philanthropy. Next is I want to go over to include keywords and I want it to say, and I want to say web 3.0. Okay, so now you see that nothing has come up. So what I would do in this instance is I would get rid of financial services. And then I would try to use the word crypto, blockchain, cryptocurrency, crypto trading, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum. That's me checking if I spelled it right. I might want to say Dogecoin. Decentralized. I might want to say coin offering. I might want to say coin mining. Cool. So now once I have all of these keywords and I have the industries that I don't want, I can kind of slowly go through the, this list of leads and I can just take a look and see if there are any leads that I don't want. So for example, if I'm looking for anything that's financial services, crypto exchanges, anything to do with fintech, those are the kind of leads that I want. And so I'm going to click on one, for example, this doesn't even have a website. So... If we just take a look, we can see that it says NFTs. Now, do I really want NFTs? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. And so let's say, for example, I don't want anything to do with NFTs. So we're just going to exclude the word NFTs. See what comes up. Okay, it takes out some leads. That is okay. I can also find keywords here that I might want to add. So let's go through it. We can add the word buy and sell Bitcoin. We can add Cardano. And let's click on some of these other ones to see if it has anything to do with what we want. 
Easy transparent wallet recovery. Simplest way to recover your lost wallet password. Investigate scam crypto. So this could be good, but if I'm looking for fintech, then maybe that's not what I want. So I might want to get rid of the word lost password. <laughs> or I guess in this case, I would probably get rid of the word lost cryptocurrency. And then we can keep going down and trying to look for anything that we don't want. So I'm going to click on another company, see how we feel about this. Social media impacts market, gain an edge with access to real-time social media markets. Yes, this is fintech, which is very innovative, but it's fintech. Let's click on this. Liquid Mercury, we power professional crypto trading. Yes, this is also fin. This is maybe not fintech, but financial services. Crypto tutors, this is e-learning, I would assume. Now, I probably don't want anything to do with e-learning, so let's take a look at some of these on the side. Crypto mining, GPU clusters computer hardware. Now, we probably don't want anything to do with e-learning, so what I'm going to take out here on the side is I'm probably going to take out e-learning itself. I'm going to take out knowledge. I'm going to take out coaching, actually. I'm going to take out mentorship. Knowledge. Let's get rid of knowledge. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at some of these other leads, and I'm just going to keep looking at the keywords. I probably want to add the word polygon. I would add the word metaverse, but I'm afraid that it might bring up some other leads that are maybe games, that are maybe um, other Web 3.0 companies that have nothing to do with fintech or financial services. This one says gift cards. Now let's investigate this lead real quick. Fold. Your one-stop shop for building Bitcoin wealth. Yes, this is a qualified lead. This one is a little bit suspicious. Raindrop. Let's take a look trade while you sleep while you work okay that's fine this is a qualified lead it is fintech let's check on the side here it says web design so the website isn't working but i'm a little suspicious because i don't know if i actually want web design company so i'm gonna get rid of the word design and then i'm also gonna get rid of the word design as a industry so design here and then design graphic design let's check another lead Build multiple chain apps faster. Real-time historical blockchain data. Let's take a closer look at what they do. Solutions, crypto tax software, NFT marketplace, wallet. I think they're going to be a fit. It's going to be a little bit confusing, but I think that they're going to be a fit. Let's take a look at another lead. Is your technology ready for the future? Information management services okay no so this is not a qualified fit so if we look at thought ai let's take a look over here okay so with thought ai a lot of the keywords that they're using are the same kind of keywords that the kind of that the people that we're looking for are also using so to get rid of this we got to find one keyword that only this lead and maybe other leads just like this one are using so we cannot see this kind of unqualified lead anymore so one word that i see right now is thought <laughs> So we're going to get rid of that word. And you want to find a keyword to exclude that won't put other leads that you may be looking for at risk, the actual qualified ones. So I also want to use the word digital assets, but I'm afraid that I might bring out some other things like NFTs. But because we've already excluded the word NFTs, I would be okay with using the word digital assets. But I also see here there's a better keyword, which is decentralized finance. So let's add that into this centralized finance into the included keywords and so you can keep doing this for as long as you want for as short as you want but obviously the longer you do it the more qualified your lead list is going to be it should not take you this much amount of time i know it says 30 <laughs> you can do this for as long as you want for as short as you want but once you find it a little bit hard to find any negative keywords that you don't want you're pretty much done most of the people in this list like 99.9% .9 of people in this list are going to be qualified and that's pretty much how you find actual qualified leads on apollo data now, if you want to learn how we turn these leads into actual book calls, then book a call with us for our 7K and 7-day free trial. Link is in the description below. My name is Brandy Grace Wong, and I'm the founder of Totally Branded. We're an operations and strategy agency, also known as Fractional COO, and we specialize in innovating agency business models, improving lead generation, client acquisition, and expanding fulfillment capacity. I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Peace. Take care.